Now, many people come to me and they say, you know, Steve, I, I, I'm trying to apply these law of attraction ideas. I'm doing affirmations and, you know, I'm, I'm reading my goals each day and I, I just can't seem to manifest anything. It doesn't seem to be working for me. I think the law of attraction may not really be true. And I just look at the person and I'm like, you know, okay, what are you trying to manifest? Well, I'm trying to manifest a really, um, a life of passion and excitement and, and a total abundance. And I, I want to have all that in my life. I'm like looking at this person saying, this person's exuding exactly the opposite vibe. You're exuding kind of this disconnected, you know, boredom, apathy state with, with me. Or at least a, a kind of a low level of contentment. That's not what abundance feels like. That's not what passion feels like. Where's the feeling? Okay, if the feeling isn't there, it's not going to manifest. It has to be, the vibe has to be being put out by that person. Okay, so I, I have to explain to these people, it's not just about reading affirmations. I, for the most part, I think reading affirmations is a waste of time. I, I don't even bother with that. Um, unless somehow that works for you, like reading the affirmations in a really passionate state helps you get you really worked up and get to create that feeling. Okay? This little 20 minute visualization I gave you, that's just one of many ways you can use to create that feeling. Some people do it by shifting their physiology, okay? like standing a certain way, breathing a certain way. I find that th that works for some things, but it can be a little bit limiting because I'm like, how, do I, how would I stand if I was feeling abundant? I don't really associate a certain body language with that. And the, the truth is, I don't think the body language matters all that much, at least in my experience it hasn't. I think the body language is more of an effect. And to focus on that too much of a cause as a cause, I think it makes it more difficult to manifest abundance because you'd have to have your body in that state like longer and longer periods of time each day. I mean, it, it would be you'd be like focusing on trying to get your body in that place each day. Or I think it's a little easier to focus on the thoughts because then they'll just arise naturally. It's easier to do that when you're just sitting in your car thinking about it. Get the, you know, give, give rise to the feeling. But really, if the body language stuff works for you, if like standing a certain way and, and focusing on that several times a day works for you, by all means use it. Okay, the, the real idea here is that you need to do whatever it takes to create that vibration and to make it a dominant part of your daily reality. Okay, now, What's going to happen? What's going to happen next? Once you start getting this vibration and it starts becoming more and more dominant, gradually, okay, it's not like necessarily going to be an abrupt thing, but the more you shift into that new vibration, the more you start putting out a different vibe, the more things in your external reality, the matrix of reality around you, are going to begin to change. And they're going to change in two primary ways initially. First of all, you're going to start feeling more and more of a disconnect with the things in your reality, the people, the places, the, possibly the job you have, the experiences that you've been used to, you're feeling more of a disconnect with those parts of your reality that do not resonate with the new vibration you're trying to create. So if you're trying to create an experience of abundance, anything that keeps knocking you back down into a scarcity state, scarcity vibration, you're going to get more and more frustrated with it and you're going to feel more and more disconnected with it. Certain people in your life you might feel more and more disconnected from. Okay, that's, that's normal. That's supposed to happen. On the other hand, new things are going to start arriving in your life. New opportunities, new people, new experiences are going to start showing up in your life that are not congruent with your old vibration, but they are congruent with the new one you're creating. Okay, so you're going to start, like if you're focusing on financial abundance, you're going to have a, a new business opportunity may show up. And at your old state of scarcity thinking, it would never come to you. Or you would never even recognize it. You would never capitalize on it. But now it shows up, and it's a match for your new state of abundance. Now here's the tricky part. Okay, this part you may not want to hear, but I assure you it's true. The next step, okay, there's first, the first step we have to go through is creating that, that new vibration. But that's not enough. That is not enough by itself. If that is all you do, you will not get there. Okay? The second key element is that in order to fully shift your reality now, not just your internal vibration that you're putting out, but actually allow the reality around you to shift, you're going to have to exercise courage no matter what. I guarantee you will have to exercise courage. There is no way to shift into that new reality without doing something brave, okay? without doing something that gives you a little bit of fear at least, maybe a lot of fear depending on how, how big a shift you're trying to make. Okay? Disconnecting with your old relationships and anything you're connected to in your old reality is going to take courage. Being able to connect with the things in your new reality is going to take courage. Okay? Anything the, the, 
Think of it like this. Think of it like this. You are in a certain comfort zone right now. And your comfort zone is simply what you're experiencing. If you're assuming you've been experiencing things in your life for a certain length of time, like certain relationships, a certain career, um, certain financial situation, you've gotten used to it. Okay, you're comfortable with it. Even though it may not be what you want, it's within your comfort zone. It's a familiar experience. If you want to shift over to a new place of being, that is a new vibration. It's a new reality. It's a new experience. And therefore, is outside your comfort zone. You are not going to be comfortable with it. So when these things start showing up in your life, they're going to give you a feeling of discomfort, which you may interpret as fear. Okay, you may be scared to take advantage of some of these opportunities. Okay, like when I would shift my vibration financially, I would get some business deals that would show up and they would be bigger than anything I'd done before. It would make me a little nervous. Okay, but if I get nervous, I'm shifting my vibration back into scarcity. So I have to go back and like, okay, what's this abundance mindset? Well, that's going to include some confidence. So I have to put myself back there and I have to, exu I have to exercise the courage to take advantage of those, those deals that came to me. On the other side, I have to exercise courage to disconnect from all the stuff in my life that doesn't resonate with my new vibration of abundance I'm trying to create. Okay? You do have to take action here. That's where the action comes in, is being able to summon the courage to really follow your heart. That when you created this heart set, this new vibration, you've got to follow it now. You have to let it lead you. Okay? You have to honor it. If you keep going back to the old vibration, you're simply going to block what manifests. Okay? The manifestations are, start, are going to start showing up. But they're going to come in a way that's going to make you uncomfortable. Okay? That's where you have to just say, all right, I've, you know, I know courage is required. I just have to be brave and I've got to do it. I've got to let go of the old and I've got to start embracing the new. For example, this year, I decided to focus on creating intimacy abundance in my life. Okay? Now, what I, what I mean by that is, for many years of my life, you know, most of my adult life, I had a very deep and in intimate connection with just one woman. Okay? That was like my intimacy part of my life, this, this one marriage, one relationship where we were just like very deep, very, very connected here. And as I started thinking more about this abundance mindset, I, I felt a little bit out of match with this. It, was like it didn't feel like a good fit for me anymore because I felt like, you know, I'm trying to get like all my experience of love from just one person and that's not what I'm feeling anymore. I'm starting to shift in this vibration of wanting to be just like, like surrounded by just a, you know, um, a radial field of love just all around me. Like wanting to have these loving, deep, intimate connections with lots of people. Maybe not a huge number, but say at least like half a dozen really close, intimate friends where I can just talk to them about anything, they can talk about me about anything, we care about each other very deeply, we encourage the heck out of each other, you know, we, we inspire each other, wanting to have those kinds of connections. But then I also had the sense that, you know, if I was connecting that deeply with a woman, well, this is what, this is what happened with my wife when I first met her. I connected with her very deeply emotionally, and then it became a physically intimate relationship as well. And I thought, what would that feel like to have like multiple, multiple emotionally intimate connections, but also the possibility that there'd be multiple physically intimate connections connected with that emotional intimacy as well. And I thought, does that feel good? Does that feel like something I want to step into? Does that feel like a vibration I want to experience? So I just imagined it. What would that be like? And as I imagined it, I thought, you know, that feels so good to me. It feels better than what I'm experiencing right now, just this one-on-one -on -one intimate connection, physically and emotionally. I thought, I would feel really good in that place. And I, I couldn't help but just keep thinking about it and imagining it and how good it felt. And so I started to shift in the, into that vibration. And then new experiences started coming to me. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait. you know, I can't do that with you, I'm, I'm married. You know, and, and I would block them. And I kept blocking them and blocking them and blocking them. I'm like, whoa, you know, and I still kept focusing on that vib vibration, so these things kept showing up. And then I started on the other side feeling more and more of a disconnect with my wife. You know, our intimate connection was no longer satisfying to me. And why? Because I was shifting my, 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 my vibration out of this intimacy model based on just a single committed monogamous relationship. And I wanted to have really this, this feel of loving relationships around me. Like that's what I was moving into manifesting. But as it started showing up, I started blocking it. Well, eventually I realized what I was doing and I thought, you know, I do want to step into this vibration. I do want to allow my reality to be congruent with the person I'm becoming on the inside. And that took a lot of courage. I mean, I had to start doing things that were very much outside my comfort zone because it was not anything I experienced before.